Okay, so we're here with Jonas at Hi. Seaside Modular. Yes, happy to be here. How are you doing? Great, man. Yeah, how are you? Very good. Wonderful. Cool. So we're here today uh, showing our first hardware module, Proteus. Uh, Proteus started as a VCV rack module. It's a generative sequencer. It is our first VCV rack software module to become a real-life piece of hardware. Amazing. Great achievement. Sorry, I can't hear Congratulations. you. Thank Congratulations. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. That's okay. Yeah, what's the module all about? Okay, so it's a generative sequencer, and the idea is that it's going to create a melody, and then it's going to loop that melody over and over again. And every time it loops, there's some probability that Proteus gets bored, throws away the melody, and starts with a new one. So let me show you how that works. Right now, it's uh, looping, and I'm going to make a new melody by pressing the button, and you'll see that the light starts off blue. And as Proteus gets more and more impatient over time, the light changes from blue to pink. Wow. And we can control how fast that happens with the patience knob. So if I turn this way down, Proteus is going to get impatient very quickly. So it just made a new melody there. It's going to flash when it makes a new one. Now if I turn that up, it'll keep each melody for a longer amount of time until ultimately we see the green, and that means that it's going to loop infinitely. When Proteus makes a melody, it's not just picking random notes, it's uh, algorithmic, so it's trying to make musical melodies. It's all quantized. You can pick from 10 internal uh, scales that are in there, or you can define your own scales using our uh, web configurator. There's a USB stick on here. You can do that with scale files if you want microtonal stuff. And all the scales are weighted, and you can define those weights so that it picks the good notes of the scale more often than the bad notes. And it tries to chain them together in an interesting way to make nice, pleasing melodies. Fantastic. So we can control the algorithm with this, this complexity knob here. If I turn it all the way down and I make a new melody, it's going to make melodies that are very simple. Maybe rhythmic things, maybe even only a single note at the extreme, thanks to the light. Um, if I turn it up and we make a new melody, we'll make something slightly more interesting. If I turn it all the way up, we'll get the most interesting, complex melodies. I can, ca I can change the uh, length of the sequence from as little as two steps all the way up to 32 steps. I'm going to make it eight now just for simplicity. We can change the proportion of notes that are filled in, make it more sparse. And it remembers the order in which these things appear and disappear, so you can always go back and forth between a kind of filled-in version and the same sparse version that oh, you found useful. earlier. That's yeah. Great. You can add uh, rest notes in between each loop with the uh, sleep parameter. So now it's going to wait eight beats before looping. I can also control the probability that the whole thing transposes up or down an octave. And I could change the probability that an individual note changes on each loop. That's what the purple note means, that note changed. If you hit a melody that you like, you can save it in one of the four save slots by just tapping the button. Oh, that's great. So I'll save another one in the second slot. And then I can recall them just by pressing the buttons again. cycle between your saved melodies with a trigger into the next jack. You can transpose the whole sequence by a volt per octave into the uh, transpose here. That allows you to follow along with, uh, you have some kind of chord progression or something, you want Proteus to kind of uh, improvise while, while it's following along with you, you can do that as well. So Amazing. And where did, the, where did the concept come from? What made you want to make this particular you know, the idea is that if you take any set of notes and you repeat them, it becomes like an object in your mind. My background is in, uh, during my day job, I'm a cognitive neuroscientist. I think a lot about what makes music, music. And 
repetition is pleasurable to a point. If you repeat something too much, it gets kind of boring and uninteresting. So this is trying to play with that borderland between repetition and variation. Okay. Uh, and do you find VCV Rack is a good playground for ideas yeah. and concepts? It was really useful for me as a developer to first develop this in software and get tons of feedback from the people using it. It was able to kind of grow and mature in that software land before it came into hardware. And so I think it's a more mature product as a Eurorack module than it would have been if it didn't start in VCV. Yeah. And what sort of randomness is it throwing into the mix? What sort of parameters are getting? There's altered? a few ways randomness enters in. First of all, the probability that it scraps the whole melody at each loop is, is random. You can't control it. You can set the patience, but you can't ever determine when it's going to change. Unless you want to, you can set a trigger and change it. Um, but also the way that it's making the melodies has a stochastic element to it. It's going to make a, a completely different melody each time that still has some musicality based on the scale, the scale that you choose. And then, of course, you have all the other ways you can allow the sequence to evolve and vary while it's repeating. Fantastic. And in terms of the inputs and the outputs that are on the module, what, how yeah. what can people hook up? You have one input that is a gate input that's going to advance the module. So every trigger that comes in, it advances one step. So you control the speed, the tempo. If you want it to have swing, you send in a, a uh, trigger sequence that has swing, you can do that. And then it's just sending out one gate and one volt per octave signal. So you're controlling one uh, melody, basically. Fantastic. And just one further question on the name. Proteus is uh, quite a well-known synth. That's true. Where, uh, where did you land I, on I that I did not name? know about that when I named it, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, Proteus is a a Greek god who uh, took the form of water and was a kind of shapeshifter. Oh, fantastic. And so, you know, our, our theme, we make these uh, modules from in Los Angeles near the ocean, so that's where Seaside Modular comes from. And that's one of the things about the sea that's most interesting. It's unpredictable. It has waves that are regular, but there's also some unpredictability in there. Definitely. The I, can, I can see that. And so it's, is it available now, and where can people get yep, it from? It's available now um, in the US. You can buy it at Perfect Circuit or from my website. Uh, here in the UK, it's available from Signal Sounds. You can get it in Europe at Schneiderslot. And how much did it retail for? How, what's the price? In the US, it's $325, which I think comes out to about 300 pounds or so, UK. Great. Well, thank you very much for showing us. It's a fantastic module. Thank you so much.